Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are just going to be having a very open and honest discussion about Ninjago United and how exactly this is going to be a new series departing from the other Ninjago series. You know, the one that just ended with Ninjago Crystallized. Back when Ninjago Crystallized first ended and Ninjago United, or whatever you want to call the 2023 Ninjago series, was first announced, it was announced that this would be the start of a brand new series for Ninjago, still keeping in continuity with the previous series, but being something entirely different on its own, which caused a lot of Ninjago fans to speculate. Some Ninjago fans thought that perhaps this could be a reboot, that idea was shot down pretty quickly. Other Ninjago fans thought that maybe the art style would be switched up a little bit, you know, just to distinguish this series from the other one. But what a lot of Ninjago fans probably did not expect was that Ninjago United, or Ninjago 2023's series, would be essentially the exact same as the previous series. We recently got a couple of Ninjago leaks from Lloyd's Chinese voice actor, and they revealed a couple of behind the scenes images regarding Ninjago United and a certain look at Lloyd. The image itself is kind of hard to focus on, it's kind of hard to distinguish what's going on in this picture, but essentially the image that was revealed by Lloyd's Chinese voice actor just shows Lloyd and it's just the normal Lloyd. Same art style, same animation, same face for Lloyd, he's no different. And in terms of what Ninjago staff has said regarding continuity being the same and this series being a continuation, what makes this a new series? That's that's been a question that I've been seeing a lot lately. If this is going to be a new series, why is it no different from what we've expected from Ninjago before? Why does this new series look no different than the previous Ninjago series that just ended with Crystallized? Well, there honestly is one big difference here from this series to the previous one, that of course being the episode runtime. It was said that Ninjago United, or whatever Ninjago's 2023 series will be called, will be returning back to the 22 minute format for Ninjago episodes. And when you take a look at the previous time Ninjago's episode runtime changed, that was following Ninjago March of the Oni leading into Ninjago Season 11, which just so happened to be the start of technically a new series. I think a lot of people forget that Ninjago Season 11 onwards was technically a new show. No longer was it called Ninjago Masters of Spinjitsu, it was just called Ninjago. Obviously keeping in continuity with the original show and still being a part of it, but being under a different title in general, being recognized as a completely different show by TV networks, executives, and everything in between. And we as Ninjago fans are going through a similar situation right now with Ninjago entering technically another new show, but still being the same old Ninjago that we know and love. And again, the episode runtime changing may be a coincidence, but for me that marks the start of a new series. Based on previous patterns, and based on what previously happened when Ninjago changed up its episode runtime from 22 minutes to 11 minutes. I think that's one of the reasons why this new Ninjago series is being classified as a new series, but another reason could be that they wanted Ninjago Crystallized to be the definitive ending. Back when Ninjago Crystallized was wrapping up, and again leading into the marketing of Ninjago Crystallized, the season was advertised as Ninjago's big finale. This would be the ending of the storyline regarding everything that came before, everything was leading to this moment and this season. And when Ninjago Crystallized and its last episode wrapped up, a lot of news outlets were classifying Ninjago as finally being over. Because frankly that's what LEGO advertised Ninjago Crystallized as being, the end of Ninjago. And part of me thinks that LEGO simply did that just to get some press surrounding Ninjago Crystallized. This was LEGO chance to bring Ninjago back into the spotlight while also giving fans a definitive ending. However, they can't have it both ways. If they're going to end Ninjago, they should have ended Ninjago. This new series is simply just a glorified new season of Ninjago. In fact, I don't think anything else will be different aside from the new series title. From what we've seen and from what we've heard, Ninjago United will simply be another season of the show, nothing more, nothing less. The whole end of Ninjago thing with Ninjago Crystallized was presumably LEGO just trying to get more eyes on their product. And like I said, they can't have it both ways. They can't end and Ninjago and simultaneously confirm that Ninjago is coming back and claim that it's going to be some brand new thing when we as Ninjago fans know that that's not going to be the case. But does this hurt Ninjago United? Honestly, I think it does. A lot of Ninjago fans have already left the Ninjago fandom following Ninjago Crystallized because Ninjago Crystallized was said to be the final thing, the final season. And they did announce the new series of Ninjago pretty quickly. However, they advertised it as a new series and that caused a lot of Ninjago fans to feel like it would be unconnected. What's the the deal here, LEGO? More specifically, why is LEGO's advertising towards Ninjago so skewed and so disjointed? There are theories as to why LEGO markets Ninjago like this, and I'll probably get more into those in a future video, but in terms of the topic of this video, I feel like we got a little bit sidetracked there. How is this a new series? To be frank, it's only a new series in title alone, not in terms of animation.
fashion, not in terms of art style, not in terms of the timeline or the continuity. Simply put, it's a new series just because of the title, and it follows a similar pattern to that of Ninjago's transition from March of the Oni to Ninjago Season 11 back in 2019. But hey, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to answer this question regarding how this is technically a new series and why it kind of feels like it's not. Again, very, very strange on LEGO's part, and I will be doing a video in the future discussing how exactly LEGO markets Ninjago specifically and why it seems like maybe they're trying to deliberately sabotage the theme. But we'll touch on that in a future video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Leave a comment down below discussing what you think. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace.